thing all the way down here. I'm going to change the x of that 175 and 275. There we go. Now we have our blue object, and this is going to be doing the random movement. So um, we're already past the 10 minute mark, so let's get this done quickly. We need to create, first of all, um, an if statement. If and else. And this if statement is going to say whether the object should be moving or resting. And that means we need to create a new boolean value called resting. And then this initially equals false because we want to move the first thing. The first thing we want to do is move. So if it's not, if we're not resting, then we're going to do this. And then else we're going to rest. So uh, first things first, we want to make our, we want to set a random direction. So we actually need another boolean because if we call set random, actually we'll do that in a second. So set x direction and set y direction and then in as a parameter we say choose random direction which is the method we just made and I'll copy that down here so it's going to choose a random direction and return that value so the reason we can't just do this and then say move is because every time this loop runs it's going to set a new random direction and it will jitter around the screen so we need to make sure that this only runs the first time round. So we will make a boolean with a convoluted name um, should set random direction and that initially equals true because it, we should set a random direction initially. So if we should set a random direction, very descriptive name, if we should set a random direction then set the random direction and then if we shouldn't set the random direction or we don't need to say else we can just um, do the rest so we now need to make a while loop to make sure our block our square whatever you want to call it it moves inside this method here not it moves every time this is called because otherwise that would be uh, slower and it would only move like one pixel at a time so we need to create two we need to create effectively a timer and we're not going to use a timer object or anything we're just going to create a start and end and that is a long integer called start and that equals system dot current time millis in milliseconds and then we'll say long end equals the start time plus how long we want our square to move for times a thousand because there's a thousand milliseconds in a second so if I say I want it to move for one second and then rest um, that means that one is one second and then times a thousand milliseconds so we can now just do a while loop saying while system dot current time millis is less than the end time we can move and then we'll thread dot sleep for 10 milliseconds and I know this isn't really accurate this time of thing but it's the best method I could think of at the time so now after we've so after this loop after it, when it, we reach this loop it's going to keep looping it until we've completed one second here so after we've completed one second we want to say resting equals true which means the movement of our object rectangle thing will rest so in our else statement that means we need to say how long it should rest for and I'm gonna say three seconds thread dot sleep three one two three three thousand milliseconds and semicolon of that and then that means we need to reset some booleans so after it rests we should set new random values so should set random direction equals true again and that reminds me at the end of this we need to say should set rand dir equals false so we will it won't occur again until we rest and then it'll set it to true and then once we've rested we should set resting equal to false and then that will bring it back to this loop here and that is pretty much it if i press run now and show you how this works you can see that this is moving effectively it's gone off the screen now 
and it may not come back on so let's go back so it's going to choose a random direction and then move in that direction oops and then it's going to choose another random direction and move in that direction and then another one and hopefully it'll come back on the screen or maybe not let's try again here we go and you get the idea it's just choosing a random direction it's moving in that direction and then it's waiting three seconds so you guys now that I've shown you how to do this you can edit the properties yourself like to judge how long it will move for etc and sometimes it doesn't move at all because it sets the both the things to zero randomly so that's how you randomly that's basic AI for you that's how you will randomly move an object or character around the screen and I really hope that helps I know uh, Iron Sniper was asking on the forums a lot how this would work and hopefully that's um, a good method